It's a beautiful day in Houston, Texas. I'm just arriving to Govinda's vegetarian restaurant. I've actually tried to come one day, but it's closed on a Monday. So uh, this is my second attempt. It's a beautiful building. And I'm gonna pull up to the sign so you can see the name and how it's spelled. It's right off of West 34th Street. place. Beautiful landscaping. I don't have a taste bud with me today, it's just me. And I'm trying this wonderful salad. It's got beets and carrots and black olives, some zucchini, cucumber, very healthy, with a vegan avocado dressing. Very tasty. Some kind of sprout in there. Definitely eating healthy today. This looks like okra with maybe some potatoes and I don't know what on. It tastes like it's Indian inspired. Very good. I like it. Especially if you like this type of food. Really good. I think this is some sort of a lentil. Not a strong flavor. It just feels heartwarming. And this one looks like a potato and carrot and some sort of bean. spice, not uh, so much to burn your mouth, but it's got a little hint of spice that comes as you chew. It's 
is pretty interesting. It's got some sort of a seed. It's a little bit of crunch to it. it tastes a little salty. Good texture. And here's another one. Slightly different. It's kind of like a tortilla. You know? Um, I love Vivendez because I think it's a unique um, kind of taste. It's got a lot of spices, it's got a lot of flavor, stuff you can't really find anywhere else. Awesome. And who are you, who's your taste bud here today with you? My mom. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you guys were girlfriends. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name is Patricia, and yes, I'm her mom. <laughs> awesome, Patricia. So, Tell me about your experience at Govinda's. Um, same thing. I, I like the spices. I like, uh, you know, the flavor of the Indian food. And being that we're vegan, so we appreciate this very much. Oh. It's a little dry for us because we live out in the Katie Holster area. Okay, so it's worth the drive, you think? It is worth the drive. So tell me a little bit about your vegan journey, if you don't mind. Um, so it actually started with my youngest daughter. When she was about 11 years old, she just told me that she wanted to be, at that time, vegetarian. So I kind of did my research because I had to make sure that she got, you know, the protein that she needed. Right. And so in uh, looking everything up, I discovered that it was a much healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I slowly transitioned my uh, oldest daughter for uh, second and then myself last. Okay. So I think I've been vegan for about five years now. Five years. And how long have you been vegan? I would say like six, I think. Okay, cool. And I've only been vegan since February. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for sharing. It was nice meeting you ladies today. See, on Sunday they have an all-vegan menu. But although this wasn't an all-vegan day, most of the items were vegan. I want you to see this beautiful painting on the wall. It's a really inviting place. A little taste of the world. See the interesting drink choices. That ginger mint lemonade is really good. I mix it with a little uh, hibiscus tea and it made for a really good complement to the meal.